Hello everybody, welcome to Raycom TV. It's great to have you in the studio with us. Now it's time, it's that time again for us to conduct another walk test. But what on? Well, it's a really exciting day for us here in the studio because we have the brand new Sound Devices A20 mini transmitter here with us. And just look at this, what an absolutely fantastic product. Really low profile, rounded edges, extra lightweight, small body pack transmitter. So we're going to test its range today. I have my good colleague Piers downstairs, as usual with these range tests, to conduct the range of this. Piers, how are you doing down there? Pretty good. Pretty good. It's a lovely good. day. It's really, oh, I really bet. nice. <laughs> I've got a nice air conditioned studio. Yeah. I bet you're sweltering yeah. out there. So the A20, we've both been really impressed by this, haven't we, of what it it's offers. It's an incredible size, yes. And in fact, I, I'm, I've actually got the, the transmitter on at the moment, that's how you can hear me. Yeah. Um, and I'm just going to actually use the remote control because one of the things about this transmitter is there is no way to control it uh, apart from with the app. There, there's no uh, uh, display or any controls on it. So all the, all the control is done from the app. I'm now going to, uh, because this is a range test, I'm going to turn the power up, it's, it was on the low. I'm going to turn it up to maximum 40 milliwatts. So yeah, there's a short break there while it uh, recalibrated itself, but yes, we're now on uh, full power, which is 40 milliwatts, and uh, uh, you can also turn the transmitter on and off from this app, and it, it works over uh, with Bluetooth um, over a very high, a long range. So um, that that's the, the transmitter set up to, to full power. Um, I'm standing underneath the antennas here. We've got a couple of uh, the usual uh, passive uh, log periodic antennas yep. um, with just uh, five meters of cable, so there's uh, half a dB or so of loss before the receiver. So it, there's no significant loss and there's no, no active circuitry before the receiver, just like we, we do on other walk tests we've done like this. Um, so I'm going to start walking now and see, see, see how far it goes. See well, how whilst far we're walking, we, we can have a, have a chat about it. Obviously, um, there, have, there have been rumors around for a while, but obviously now it's here. Um, and the integration with the uh, 8 series. Uh, is complete. You, you've got mm. full control, and also this uh, one of one of the things that I didn't have to set on this transmitter was the audio gain because it uses 32-bit float uh, input with 130 d uh, dB dynamic range. So there there is no need for a gain control in the transmitter. The gain control is all done in the mixer or recorder um, for sort of downstream. So that kind of takes away some of the uncertainties of. Uh, uh, of, of working with wireless uh, sure. and also recording it has a recording feature built in um, which uh, allows it's got 64 gig of memory that's 48 kilohertz um, files uh, up to 80 hours of recording uh, with time code it's got uh, a, a time code uh, a, a time code generator that you can jam from USB-C uh, and it uses a super, super capacitor to keep it powered up um, even when there's no battery in so it will stay uh, in sync for a long time it's ultra accurate as well. I think it's 0 0.2 ppm. Right. Yeah. Well, that's going to give you frame accurate time code for you know for quite quite some time. Absolutely. So um, at the moment, it's uh, it, we're, we're we're working with uh, it's an A20 transmitter. We're working with the A10 uh, dual receiver, which you can probably see on the screen right now, showing where, where where the signal levels are. And that's just it is fully compatible with the existing A10 digital wireless system, isn't it? That's right. Yes, you can you can use it with the existing A10 uh, digital transmitters. Um, but I think you know really the thing about this is is you know the, the technology that's built in is 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 very scalable. I'm told that the uh, the FPGA devices inside basically are entirely um, firmware configurable, so mm -hmm. will will allow for significant uh, future upgrades and changes as, uh, as, as the range evolves, I guess. I mean, that's one of the beauties of uh, basically running everything in firmware. So, yeah, so anyway, we're, we're sort of, as I said, I'm a bit, a bit out of breath. It's very hot today. <laughs> I bet it it's, is uh, boiling up. I don't up know, there. When, when you're watching this uh, at home, or well, you might be watching it in the, in the Antarctica, for all I know, but at the moment, it's a very, very hot July day here, uh, about 30 degrees, um, just going past the Evesham Fire Station. We're uh, there already. Excellent. You're making course. good progress. Yeah, we're, we're at the Brilliant. fire station, and that's, uh, yeah, I've not heard a single dropout. I've not heard any hits or anything. So. Excellent. Well, I think we should talk even briefly about the actual form of this transmitter, because that's what's really impressed us. As soon as it arrived, we all thought, wow, look at that. That is extraordinary, actually. The, for the features we've just run through, and that's only some of the features, we haven't even covered everything yet. The actual form factor yes. of this is really impressive, and not only for those sort of deploying it as part of their arsenal of kit. The talent actors, whoever you're using it with, will really love this product as well. Those rounded edges, that low profile form factor means yeah. it sits on the body really comfortably. Exactly. 
it's not metal, so it's not going to warm up too much. No, I did test that actually. I had it running at full power, as I've got yeah. now 40 milliwatts, and it didn't seem to rise too much above uh, above ambient, even in the air conditioned office. So. Yeah. I think you know, that's a big thing, uh, talent really don't like transmitters uh, <laughs> burning their skin, st uh, strangely enough. Uh, so, so yeah, this is, uh, I, I think the, 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 the plastic is, is, uh, is very good at sort of uh, avoiding mm. that. Obviously me metal transmitters, apart from having sharp, sharp edges, can have, uh, obviously get, can heat up. Right, I'm getting some slight hits now, this is quite normal, we're, we're, yeah. we're, we're sort of down the slope now, we're down in the car park, well that's a caravan park today by the looks of it. Um, so uh, yeah, we're, we're sort of down there. We, we do normally get hits here because uh, there's a lot of, uh, of uh, stuff in the way between me and the receive antennas. Uh, I'd have to say this is, this is pretty good. Um, this is very, very impressive so far. So we're going to pick our way across the, the car park, hoping the, the poor cameraman who's walking backwards <laughs> doesn't trip over a we, caravan uh, tow hook or something. But, we <laughs> hope not. But now. We both noticed as well, obviously, the, the first thing when you, when you unpackage this A20 Mini, there's no screen, there's no buttons. It's all controlled via that A20 remote app we yeah. looked at just now. There's loads of things you can control with the app as well, aren't there? It's, you, know, you can set your RF power as we did, your frequency as well. You can start and stop recording. You can mute the microphone. You yeah. have far more control with a level of ease we haven't seen before with a normal transmitter that would have buttons and screens. Quite simply, you can get this ready at the start of the day, buried in a costume or on the actor's person, wherever it is, and you know you have easy customization and changing of settings of your transmitter. Yeah, of course, no, nobody likes you fiddling in their costume when no. you're between takes. But of course, with, with the remote gain setting, as I said, that the need to get to the transmitter, unless it's to change the battery, is, is more or less removed. Uh, and I mean, even changing the battery shouldn't be needed because uh, uh, b b because you can turn the transmitter off between takes, thus uh, saving power. Yeah. So, actually, well, we're, we're, we're now going up the steps um, to the bridge now across uh, the River Avon here. It is starting to drop out. I'm getting ever so slight dropouts. Yeah. yeah. Well, I'm going to keep, keep going for a bit. Keep um, going, sure. Just touching on the Bluetooth as well. So, there's, there's a 2.4 yeah. gigahertz inter internal antenna, isn't there? So, actually, you get pretty good range with adjusting things via Bluetooth. So if you are at the side of set or you're in Video Village, wherever you are, you do, you, you have that comfort knowing you can adjust your talents, transmitters. Yeah. Are you still getting me? How, how are we doing? I'm still getting you. Yeah, I'm still getting you. There's, there's the odd drop out here and there, but I am still getting you. Okay, well, well, well it's getting a bit bad actually. There uh, we go, yeah, dropping a little bit more. I'm now. wondering whether we should, uh, we should chance it and go across the, uh, the crossing. Should we go? I think we should. Yeah, let's, let's yeah. see. Let's see. So we're just, just making going. sure that so this is the point where I always worry I'm going to get run over. <laughs> but so far, neither Jake, the cameraman, or I have uh, been so unfortunate. Well, well yes, we're, we're we're sort of coming back into line of sight now a bit. Yeah. Uh, although it is starting. I think just the distance is getting us here. Um, yeah. But that's that's pretty good. Um, so that's the uh, the new A20 mini transmitter talking to the. The A10, uh, uh, the A10 receiver back in the studio, um, and yeah, we're a good few hundred meters away now. So oh, comfortably as well. I'm, yeah, it's. Uh, I'm a, we're probably probably. Kind of, yeah, we're losing it now. I've just turned round actually, so you can still hear me. So I think you know this this is this has done really re very well. Um, yeah, it has. Yeah. Bearing in mind it's an all digital system. Um, so yeah, I, I can I, I can't quite. See the office. I've got, I think, the fire stations in the way. So yeah, it's in a line of sight path at the moment. Mm. But yeah, we'll we'll put a distance marker down. So see see kind of how far we got here. Good stuff. Good stuff. And then the actual sort of tuning range of this. Then it's 470 to 694 megahertz with full 10 hertz to 20 kilohertz audio bandwidth as well. Yeah. Digital RF modulation and transmission. Again, in that A10 digital system. Yeah, and in fact, the, the, one of the things that works with the app, when you turn the app on, it knows where you are and works out what frequency bands you're allowed to use in, in the area you are. So basically, it's, it covers the whole UHF spectrum. So wherever you go in the world, it will uh, customize the spectrum to what's uh, licensable in, in the country where you're working. Um, sure. Obviously, in the UK, we have the full 470 to 694 available. So this transmitter will cover that entire range in, in, in one band, as does the receiver, of course. It's impressive, isn't it? For the, we say about size and form factor, 
no screens, no buttons, actually the performance of it and what it offers us. And like you said, actually, the moving forwards with firmware upgrades, it's really impressive, isn't it, Piers? Yeah, so anyway, well, I think um, we'll, we'll call that a day now. I'm, I'm, I might try and find an ice cream on the way back. Cause I do not I blame you at all, sweating as, a bit. Long as, you, uh, as long as you get me one. <laughs> OK. All right, Piers, thank you very much. Thanks. Speak to you soon. Cheers. Ta -ta. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe. Be proud of your sound. And as Piers said, be proud of your sound. So that is, guys, the A20 transmitter from Sound Devices. We think it speaks for itself. What an impressive product. So once again, I'm Tom. You've been watching Raycom TV. Do make sure you hit that subscribe button down below because this is only the first of a series of videos we'll be doing on the A20 Mini. So make sure you've hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of those future videos. And we look forward to seeing you soon. Take care.